Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I decided I would share a full uh, base routine with you all how to make your makeup last in these excruciatingly hot and sweaty summers. So this is not an everyday kind of makeup. For me, it is. This is what I would do on a daily basis. But this is more like if you are going out for a wedding or if you have an event or a birthday party or any other party and you want your makeup to look good. It's outdoors nowadays. I don't know why people want to get married in the summers and do it outdoors. So if it's that kind of a situation and you're scared your makeup's gonna sweat off or cake off, this is a routine I vouch by. I have used it so many times in so many makeup routines and I can guarantee you that it's not gonna sweat off so I hope you all take a lot of tips and tricks from this video and if you're interested please keep on watching okay so let's get started I'm gonna start first with skincare because over all of the makeup that I'm gonna apply my skin needs to breathe underneath all of this there's going to be a lot of powder a lot of foundation this is full face of glam this is not like your everyday makeup if you want everyday makeup I'm gonna leave the link to a video down below I have done it last year during the summers which was 10 minutes summer makeup get ready with me so to start with I'm gonna use the VLCC rose water toner it will calm your skin and tingles just a little bit and it will also minimize all your pores so for the time being temporarily when you have makeup on your skin your pores will be smaller there won't be too much makeup sinking into your pores and not too much sweat coming out of there plus it really calms your skin in this summer and the heat and the redness it keeps everything under check so I'm going to take a cotton pad and just put a little bit of the toner right here and just go oh my god this is so soothing I love the feeling of this and it's so inexpensive I'm going to try to show all products that are available in India and if I'm not I'm going to try to give you all dupes so that this is like an accessible video to everyone so after I've like taken out all the gunks from my face plus calmed my skin with the help of the toner I'm gonna go in with moisturizer for the time being I'm using this moisturizer this is the Laneige water sleeping mask this is a little expensive and it's a little out there but uh, I'm using it currently because my skin had become tremendously dry and flaky in the winter summer combination so I tried this one and it really helped my skin you can go in with any moisturizer that you're using uh, I love the Sebamed uh, gel moisturizer that's like my favorite and holy grail and after I'm done with this I'm going to repurchase that so you can try that that's more affordable that's 500 bucks for the entire tube and this is a tester sample for 700 so yeah okay so now once I've packed in like moisturizer toner and I had already cleansed my skin with Himalaya neem face wash something I've been using since I was a teen so that's all the skincare I do, just those two, three steps. And now I can dive into my makeup. Starting with, uh, you need a primer. You need to make sure you're giving a proper clear canvas for your makeup to like properly blend in. And for that, I as an oily girl in the summer and even in the winter, I need a pore minimizing primer. Now you know my holy grail is the Smashbox uh, pore minimizing primer, but you can also use the L'Oreal Base Magic. If you've seen my other videos, I also love that very, very much. I just can't find it today. So I'm going to go in with my Smashbox uh, Photo Finish Foundation Oil Free Pore Minimizing Primer. If you have this one, it's great. I love it so, so much. So taking very little of it, I'm going to press it into my pores and into my T-zone where I sweat the most. My cheeks and all, I'm just going to take the leftovers because that will just help my makeup blend well on my cheeks and stay a little longer but mainly concentrating it in your t-zone and in your pore area okay so the next step is foundation nothing in between so for foundation i'm using the fenty beauty pro filter foundation and i'm in the shade 370 warm now with this foundation what i love the most is that it's full coverage so it's great for the wedding and events you want to go in summer but the best part is that it sinks very well into the skin it blends very well and you don't need to layer too much of this for the color or the pigment to show up just one single light layer is enough and it gives you all the coverage and does not make you a hot sweaty mess so I love this actually the foundation I love the most for the summers is the NYX total drop control foundation which uh, is completely over and I don't have the heart to buy it again although I love that foundation so possibly in my next haul I'm going to try to buy that so you can totally get your hands on that it's available on Nykaa very accessible it's a small bottle for like 1000 so it's expensive but uh, it's definitely worth it and for an everyday college going girl it's amazing now can you see just three drops of the Fenty has like totally 
blended well given me the coverage I need and also it's a powder matte finish so it does not transfer at all. The whole method for your foundation to sink well, blend well is to keep pounding your beauty blender. Don't like rub it, don't pull on it. Just keep bouncing, bouncing and bouncing constantly. I have a video on how to make your foundation look good and um, all of that so I'm going to leave the link to those videos in the description so check it out but for now I'm like giving you that one tip use less product and make sure that it's blended well if you want to layer products make sure what you put already is blended and then go on with more so for now you can see like there is foundation there is coverage it's a very light skin like layer but com covered all of my flaws and the best part is that it's powder finish which is exactly what the NYX Total Drop Control is. It's powder matte finish. So I love these two formulas for the summer. Okay, so that completes my foundation step. This is all you need to do for foundation. Don't go too heavy on products. It's not going to benefit you. That's when it will like start caking up. And if you don't blend it well in these regions, make sure it's well blended. Because otherwise as the day progresses and as the heat like sweats your makeup off, it's all going to collect in these areas, get rubbed off from your nose. So always like take your blender and make sure you've like blended, sunk your product well into your pores. Don't like pull on it. Otherwise as the day progresses, it's just going to melt off. So for concealer, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal, my ride or die. Uh, this is because it's a very lightweight concealer. It photographs so well. It's an HD concealer and it photographs so well plus it's so affordable. So I've like gone through so many tubes of this and it's not very expensive to keep repurchasing. So again, don't go too ham on the concealer with those big fat two triangles. Just try to cover up your areas, your problem areas. Mine are just a little bit of darkness under the eyes. And mainly for adding dimension to my face. So I'll take a little bit under the eyes, not too much. On the bridge of my nose, on my cupid's bow. This is like my dark area, hyperpigmented area around my mouth, on my chin, then on the other eye. So after putting the concealer in all of these areas which are needed by me, I'm going to make sure I blend it again with the same beauty sponge. Just use the side you've not used for your foundation and blend it all in. Again, just go in dabbing, dabbing motions. Don't try to pull, don't be in a rush. The main step of your makeup is your base. If your base looks good, whatever goes on top is going to look flawless. Your day is going to go amazing, your photos are going to be amazing. So make sure you're just pouncing and be very delicate with the area around your eye because if you pull and tuck too much in the long run you're going to end up getting wrinkles so be very careful go in slight bouncing mild motions and blend it all in see how seamlessly that blends in and then when powder goes on it you will not see that shininess this area around your nose can be very tricky it's very tricky for me so i always try to keep going with my beauty blender again and again over there so I know that I'm making sure the product is sinking over there otherwise as the day progresses there'll be no product over there and then the selfies will be really bad. Especially on the nose it can be very tricky like if you're bouncing it might not blend very well but keep going okay don't stop don't do this don't try to pull it downwards don't stop just keep blending like this and then the concealer will blend in. If you try to do that to get a faster blend, you are only going to make your makeup worse throughout the day. So it takes time, it's a time consuming process. My base takes me 20 minutes and then everything that goes above it like is 5 minutes. So yes, give, give time to your base, give time to your makeup and you'll see that it really glows as the day goes by. So for the next step, I'm using powder. This is the Maybelline Fit Me powder in the shade Medium. I love loose powders for the summer because you can bake with them. So just take a little bit on the cap. There are three shades in this powder. I'm using the shade Medium. With this powder, you get a really good, it's amazing. Firstly, I love this powder. It's so good. I take very little on the cap. Uh, it's finely milled. It will make sure that your concealer, your foundation is well settled into your skin. It will not crease and it will just look beautiful. It doesn't even give you flashback. The only thing is it's a little more drying than my Laura Mercier powder. So I don't bake for very long with this. For my Laura Mercier, I can keep the bake. Baking basically is keeping powder under your eyes and uh, in these regions for a longer time than you usually would. So you take excessive powder, keep it under the eyes and you let it bake the way you let cake bake. You let your under eyes bake and then dust the excess off so your 
under eyes look really flawless but with this powder you can't keep the bake for very long otherwise your under eyes will look very powdery so I just put it on and immediately dust it off so it gives me the finish I'm looking for so take a little bit of the powder on the tip of the beauty blender I do everything with my beauty sponge and then just place it like this now for now of course this looks excessive but uh, we are going to dust it off so this is exactly what baking is you just keep it let it be over there let the powder do its job melt into your makeup and then later on whatever excess is there you will dust it away again for placing i'm not swiping pulling or tugging i'm just bouncing taking whatever little bit is there on my nose on my forehead t-zone and then taking a little more and placing it here under my cheekbone now you might observe that I'm not setting my entire face this is all the region that I apply powder and that is because when I take a brush and like dust everything away uh, the rest of the face will get settled automatically so putting this much powder on your cheeks and everything is not a good choice because uh, then your blush and your bronzer and everything that goes in these regions will not blend very well so just wait for say 5 seconds with this powder with your Nora Mercier powder you can wait longer but with this powder, I just wait for 5 seconds and I take a loose brush like this. This is from ELF. This is their powder brush, pointed powder brush and I'll dust everything away. And while you're dusting away, you can just make sure your cheeks, your forehead, your over the eye area, eyelids, your cheeks, they are all well blended. Around your mouth is an area you really want to set because like smile lines during photographs and all of that can ruin your makeup and your smile lines and that is something no matter how much makeup you put on your smile lines your under eye creasing is going to show up if you have really bad ones like my smile lines are terrible uh, so as the day progresses it does get worse so the best trick for that is to carry something like this this is like a compact powder thing you get it for like 50 bucks in any local market it's a spongy thing and with this you can just put it in your clutch or whatever you're carrying to the party and as you sweat instead of taking your tissue paper or your hand and wiping your sweat you can just take your sweat and like dab it with this so neither will your foundation come off like i've already used it i use it for every event wherever i go this one of this is in my purses so you can just dab your sweat it will take away your sweat and not take your foundation off so it's the best technique for giving yourself that touch up without like having to go to the bathroom and do the full compact thing again after doing all of this you're mostly set apart from this there's nothing more to keep in mind when it comes to making your base last now over this i'm just going to add my bronzer blush highlight and we'll skip through these steps really fast As much as base makeup is considered, this is all I do. The bronzer, blush and highlight has gone on. So after your powders and everything is done, I go in with a setting spray. This is the NYX Dewy Finishing Setting Spray. Now you might wonder why I'm using a dewy finishing setting spray when uh, it's summer and I need a matte finish. But that's not the case. Now after putting so much powder, if you look at me up close and personal, I look very powdery and matte to you. So for that reason, I use a dewy finishing setting spray. This setting spray per se in the dewy version is something just, just adds like high shine to your skin while making your makeup last supremely long. Like I have three bottles of this. I have gone through so many bottles of these and I can vouch for this particular setting spray that it will make your makeup last amazingly long and look very healthily shiny so you don't look like a cakey mess whatever products we put is very lightweight we've gone full coverage and full ham but also making sure everything is blended well into each other and you're not layering too much like don't put two three layers of foundation don't put through two three layers of concealer don't put too much of powder uh, give it a nice spray of your hands and after you feel it's settled well into your skin take that same beauty sponge your beauty sponge is everything to you uh, pick up all of the excess powders now don't go very pressing very hard that you create an impression of your beauty blender on your face very lightly and mildly pick up excess powders from your skin so everything is blended seamlessly 
and your makeup will look flawless. So this is all. Now I'm just gonna throw on something on my eyes and lips and be right back. Okay guys, so this is it. This is the completed look of a full face of makeup that I would wear to any event, any party. And be rest assured that this is not gonna sweat off and look like a cakey mess. I hope you all enjoyed and I hope you all Take a lot of tips from this video. If you all are going to ask me what's on my eye, I have just used the cute AF palette from Colourpop and uh, taken this one single sh shadow and just blended it all over my eyelid and taken this gold, very, very glittery shadow and put it on my inner corner and brow bone. That's it on my lips. I've got the Nika Matelicious. It was right here. The Nika Matelicious Lip Crayon in Jade Rose. So that is the completed look. I've put on some eyeliner, mascara, then my brows. And that is it. This entire face can actually take me 20 to 25 minutes because I'm on a roll. I'm very used to it. But when you're practicing, you can make sure that you actually take your time. So every time you're getting ready, give yourself a good one hour. Practice this makeup look and it will help you a lot, especially the tricks during the base. It will help you make your makeup look flawless throughout the evening. You can vouch on it. You can use whichever combination of products you have in your kit. Just make sure you don't cake too much makeup. The whole trick is to use minimal product and go with that so that being said i think this was already a very long video i hope you all enjoyed uh let me know if you all are going to try any of this if you all do try don't forget to tag me in your looks uh my handle on instagram is sarah sarosh with an extra h after sarosh and uh, i will leave the handle name here also all the links to my social media are in the description section anything on my skincare and other summer looks i will leave those links to those videos in the description section so i hope you guys enjoyed give it a big thumbs up if you all did like this video i will see you in my next video don't forget to hit that subscribe button because we are so close to 10,000 subscribers so i will see you all next sunday bye guys i love you all hey for you Hey, for you, are you sheepy, baby? Are you sheepy, are you?